Hello, dear colleagues. Uh, first of all, I would like to say thank you to the organizing and program committee for the opportunity to be a part of this conference. My name is Denis Kasimov. I'm from Tomsk State University, uh, from the Department of Physical and Computational Mechanics. Uh, the scientific area of our group is devoted to the problems of violent fires, infrared thermography, and uh, some aspects of their turbulent flames. Uh, so I want to present some results of using of non-contact methods infrared thermography to the problem of wood ignition of combustible materials, particularly wood construction materials, exposed to the different sources of ignition. Uh, the heat flux effect from the radiator, modern forest fire front by using forest fuel, and so on. In the literature there are a lot of experimental studies concerning to the fire hazard of wood, and most of them use contact methods of measuring the temperature during fire engineering tests of building materials. So I've divided my talk into two main sections. The first of all is uh, studying the heat flux effect from infrared source uh, on the fire resistance of wood building materials, and the second one is about the estimation of the influence of surface uh, fire on fire behavior of subtypes of wood construction materials. So here you can see the experimental facility to estimate in laboratory condition the charring rate and temperature distribution on wood samples under the influence of heat uh, exposure. So the following device is infrared camera uh, JB500, uh, so uh, video camera and also the black body radiator with the temperature range from 100 up to 1100 degrees simulating the radiant heat flux source, heat flux sensor, and uh, other facilities. So, uh, the experiment were carried out as follows. Uh, the studied sample was placed on the stand fixed on a movable carriage and installed on the optical rail. Further, the carriage with the sample was arranged with a fixed gap opposite heat source, and the location of the sample and recording equipment was chosen for the purpose of recording the heat flux effect at the side wall of the sample at the edge of the sample. The exposure lasts for 10 minutes and the frame rate of fire recording was 5 frames per second. So uh, in our experiments we used plywood, chipboard and orient standard board samples uh, widely used in building. With the development of chemical industry, the fire retardants have been developed to partially or completely prevent the ignition. So we use three liquid formations that contain flame retardants and antiseptic additives. Using a control unit, the temperature of the black body radiator uh, was preliminary set to 1100 Celsius degrees. So here you can, on slide you can see the calculated plan curve for our temperature with the selected working spectral range. And we can see that using of uh, 2.5 up to 2.7 filter allowed to record the infrared radiation of the highest intensity for the specified temperature of radiator. On slide we can see the IR video of the heat flux effect on the side wall of sample with and without fire retardant in IR range. In order to ensure, ensure that the effect of heat flux leads not only to carbonization but also to ignition, the gap between the test sample and the output part of the black body is reduced. This allowed us to analyze all stages of thermal decomposition. Taking into account the high speed of air camera record, we can analyze these processes in stage. Uh, using the data from IR camera, we can evaluate the charring rate and depth after heat exposure, and it was shown that the efficiency of treatment with fire retardant did not exceed uh, 10 or 15 percent according to the methods for determination of charring rate. Also, we measured the ignition time, and the second part of my talk is about the estimation of the influence of surface fire and fire behavior of some types of wood construction materials. So here you can see the video from our camera after the fire exposure, and the use of non-contact method allows us to obtain the distribution of the temperature fields on the surface of the sample subjected to their combustion source. The geometric dimensions of the most high heat areas were measured using tools available in the Altair software. The size of the sites was determined at the time when the burning layer of forest fuels completely burned out and the flame stopped screening the area under the star. The proceed thermal imaging data obtained in the experiment are listed in Table 1. Comparative analysis shows that depending on the kind of wood the best fire retardant characteristics and demonstrated by different compositions. 
So here you can see the conclusions. So thank you for your attention. Thanks.